Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined my son, Jordan Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Today's video is part two of our four part series on the four mechanisms of evolution, which include natural selection, genetic drift, mutations, and gene flow. In today's video, we will explore genetic drift via the bottleneck effect and the frowner effect and how they contribute to the evolution of species over time. So let's do this. Our learning circuit for today is, I can explain how genetic drift via bottleneck effect and the founder effect leads to an evolutionary change in a population of species over time. Let's first start off answering the question, what is genetic drift? Genetic drift is when a series of chance events like disease, hurricanes, tornadoes, fires, earthquakes, and other disastrous events cause an allele, which is an alternate form of a gene, to become more or less common in the populational organisms. There are two main types of genetic drift, which are the bottleneck effect and the founder effect. Both types of effects cause an allele or variation of a gene to become more or less common in a population, which causes evolutionary changes in the population over time. Let's dive into the bottleneck effect first. The bottleneck effect is a change in allele frequency or how often an allele occurs after a large reduction in the size of a population usually caused by a disastrous event such as hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, fires, flood, or disease. An allele is a different version of a gene. Let's use hair type as an example. The alleles for hair types are curly hair and straight hair. To keep it simple, yellow bees represent curly hair and blue bees represent straight hair in a population of people in a town called Hairville in this picture illustration. Notice that in the parent population, there's more people with curly hair allele or yellow bees at the beginning. Now what if there was a tornado, hurricane, or disease that came through Hairville and randomly killed off most of the people that had the curly hair yellow bead allele? How would this affect the remaining population? This would create a bottleneck effect where most of the individuals that survived in Hairville would now have the straight hair blue bead allele. Notice how there were more curly hair yellow bead alleles before the disastrous event and now there are more straight hair blue bead alleles in the surviving population after the event. Now when people mate with each other in Hairville, it is a much greater chance that they will mate with someone with the straight hair blue bead allele and have more children with straight hair in the next generation due to the random chance of the disastrous event wiping out individuals in a population with curly hair yellow bead alleles. Think about how the frequency of straight hair versus curly hair alleles would look in future generations of people in Hairville. Would there be more people with straight hair or yellow hair in Hairville? If you know the answer, please respond in the comment section below and tell us how you know which hair type there will be more of. Now let's move on to the second type of genetic drift, which is the founder's effect. The founder effect occurs when a few individuals move away from the parent or original population and live in a new area where there are no other organisms. This causes a decrease in genetic diversity as a result of there being fewer alleles or traits present in a new population with fewer organisms. These organisms may carry alleles that differ in their frequency or amount of certain traits from those individuals in the parent population. Let's take a look at the following example. Notice how there are white, light brown, and brown butterflies in the ancestral or parent butterfly population on the left. The arrow that you see shows that some members of the butterfly population moved away to a new area where there are no other butterflies. The butterflies that moved away also took their alleles or traits with them, but notice that there are no white butterflies in the new population and therefore their traits are not represented in this new population of butterflies. So as you may have guessed, when these founder butterflies have offspring, the white butterfly traits will be greatly reduced or not present in the offspring. This also means that there will be less genetic diversity because there are fewer different types of butterflies to mate with each other in the new population than there are in the ancestral or parent butterfly population. So how does bottleneck effect and founder's effect lead to evolutionary change in populations of organisms over time? That's a great question. First, both types of genetic drift can cause traits to be dominant or completely disappear in a population of organisms. Second, both the bottleneck effect and founder's effect reduce the amount of genetic variation or diversity in a population by reducing the number of alleles or traits in that population. 
Since the amount of alleles or traits are decreased in the new population of organisms, it can be very harmful to these new generations because if there is a non-beneficial trait being passed down, then it will increase the likelihood of that population dying off or having genetic mutations due to a lack of genetic diversity. The Fugate family, the blue people of Kentucky, are an excellent example of how a decrease in genetic diversity can lead to certain traits becoming more dominant in a population of organisms. But that's a topic for another video. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with explaining how genetic drill via the bottleneck effect and the founder effect lead to evolutionary change in populations of organisms over time by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell icon so you don't miss on any of our awesome videos. Peace and have a positive, productive day. Godspeed, Spider-Man.